I'm awake. Am I? Am I? Am I? Waking up is weird. You cross from one world into the next. In one moment, you live a different life. The next, you wake up. An entire reality ceases to exist as you open your eyes. Gone. I woke up a lot. Once at the beach. It was the first time me and my parents were at the beach. Everyone was happy. I was without a care in the world. As if I was there where I always wanted to be. I couldn't find my parents. Everyone was gone. Then I saw it. The water pushed me down. I tried to fight it, but I couldn't. I sank deeper and deeper to the ground. I guess for oxygen that wasn't there. I had no strength left. My lungs filled with water. But then I woke up. My parents asked me what happened. I told them I died. That they left me. They told me everything was alright. They would never do that in the real world. That was only a dream. Only a dream. I was confused by these words. If it wasn't real, why did I still feel like I was drowning? I have a problem with being awake. I got suspended from my last school. Didn't pay attention. All my teachers said I was sleeping all the time. Sleeping. I never slept in school. I was just thinking, but I didn't really know what I was thinking about. Today was my first day at the new school. I wasn't bad leaving my old one. I didn't have friends. How could I? I was never awake. Weird art class. One of the few subjects I liked. Everything you could imagine could be real. I didn't think somebody would sit next to me. He didn't seem to care. His name was Mark. He was an outsider. Maybe that's why we got along. We were given a picture. A woman in front of a makeup table. I liked her hair. Didn't see that hairstyle often. Her reflection? She didn't look at herself. She looked at me. Why did she look at me? Mark asked if I saw the skull already. All is vanity. All is futile. No matter how much she tries to be beautiful, someday she won't be anymore. Someday she will die. But vanity had more meanings. All is vanity. All is show. No matter how futile, she will always try to look good for the outside. Both viewpoints are equally true. Mark thought that these artworks show more than anything that there isn't just one way to view reality. It's not only the woman doing her makeup, the skull is equally there. There is no true reality. All a show. Just as weird as waking up is falling asleep. Where do we go when we fall asleep? Every night we suddenly live different lives. What if we wouldn't wake up? How do we know what's real? The time between falling asleep and dreaming. The time we can't remember because we can't perceive it. Maybe that's what reality feels like. Emptiness. Bye.
aus deiner Dream. Last lesson. Mark sat next to me again. I liked how he thought about things. That there are more ways to see the world. We were given a poem. A man awakes from restless life to walk a dream of endless lights. Yet all those lights, they soon will fade. As they would come, they'd go away. Each night he shoots into the dark in homes and stars to find a spark. One night, it shined. An ending found his endingless sorrow, now shone a light into his lightless tomorrow. We needed to write an analysis it became a homework. I asked Mark what he thought about it. He said the man in the poem was probably a lucid dreamer. A lucid dreamer. Someone who is aware that they're dreaming. Someone who can shape their dreams however they want. Be whatever they want. I can't recall ever having a lucid dream. I wanted to know what that's like. To know you're not awake. To know nothing's real. To have this power. Where am I? Am I awake? Am I? What am I? I'm a human. I was a human. What am I? Am I thoughts? Am I perception? What am I? I perceive nothing. There is nothing. There's just me. Was it always just me? Was it all a show? A dream? Was everything just me? What am I? Am I real? Didn't work. But I wasn't too discouraged. After all, I could try again tonight. I wanted to go back home. I didn't pay attention to class. Mark was sleeping. Perhaps he was having a lucid dream. Class was not close to being over. I couldn't focus. I tried to sleep as well. It was faster than waiting for the bell. It was still hours till... What? How was that possible? Was this a dream? Was I dreaming right now? Was this what dreaming feels like? It was amazing. I wasn't bound to anything. I was finally free. In the real world I was scared of heights, but here I could just let go. Here I could do everything. Be everything. Here I was a god. I was awake. Why did I have to be awake already? I didn't have time to grieve about it. I overslept. I was late to school. Teacher said I could stay right outside. I thought about my dream. There was so much more that I could do. Infinite possibilities. There was a new girl in my class. Her name was Angelica. She asked me for my name, but in that moment I just couldn't remember.
then her bus came and she drove back home. It was weird. I only met her today, but I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I just wanted to fall asleep. Maybe I'd see her in my dreams. Even if it wasn't real, I didn't mind. I sat in the garden. A fire was burning, but it wasn't warm. I felt like something's missing. Mark asked if I was searching for the light. The light? What light? The light I was searching for my whole life, he said. The light which without I couldn't see anymore. I remembered. Angelica. I wished I could turn back time to the moment I first saw her. But you couldn't see me. It was as if I wasn't there. No matter how many times I tried, she would just walk past me. She couldn't see me. What happened? Why did it feel so real? It was only a dream, wasn't it? Only a dream. She wasn't real after all. Why did I care if she could see me? Today was a school day. I would see her again. That was nice. Lesson was about to start. She wasn't here yet. What if she didn't come? It felt like my dream. She didn't see me. Why did I feel this way? I wanted to leave. Mark asked where I was going. Home. I just wanted to see her. I couldn't sleep. I thought about her. It felt like hours were passing by. What? I must have fallen asleep. I was dreaming. Maybe she'd see me now. Why did this always happen? What was that? Angelica. She was looking at me. I wanted to fly to her. Where was I? I realized I never fell asleep. I was only imagining her. Now I was lying here with a concussion. My parents asked me how this happened. I told them I couldn't remember. I had to spend the night at the hospital. I tried to sleep, but my head hurt too much. They gave me something to make it easier. Slowly I felt less pain. And I fell asleep. I 
I was back in my room again. Was I dreaming? Was I awake now? I just couldn't tell the difference anymore. Was she still there? Angelica. She wanted to look after me because I just walked out of class. She was worried about me. She did see me. We went to the garden and talked. The weather was nice. Everything was. We talked about dreams. That there were different realities we could dive into. But only that dreams could be the most beautiful reality that our minds could imagine. It felt like there was just us. Nothing else. Angelica told me about her first dream. She was standing on top of her roof. She was scared of heights. She called for her parents, but nobody answered. The wind became stronger, and she fell. It was so real that she started to cry. I understood that feeling. We would save each other, I said. Then she looked at me. We moved closer. And... Everything that had happened wasn't real. I threw all the machines to the ground. I pulled the tubes out of my nose. The noise alarmed the doctors. They grabbed me. Used drugs to calm me down, but I couldn't. Nothing could. What is this? A reality. No, this isn't reality. What is reality? Reality is whatever I want. I decide what's real. Wasn't reality just show? No, reality is where I feel home. Where I'm happy. Reality is perception. A construction of a consciousness. Everything is equally reality. No, no, this is not true. I'm drowning. No, this isn't reality. I'm waking up. No, this isn't reality. I'm in love. With a girl who doesn't exist. No, this is not reality. I'm in a coma. No, this is not reality. I'm a consciousness in space. No, this isn't reality. I'm on a rooftop. No, this isn't reality. I'm daydreaming this. No, this isn't reality. 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 No, this is not reality. No, this is not reality. I woke up. First, I was confused. Then I saw her. And suddenly I was relieved. She asked me if I was awake. Yes. Now I am. Thank you.